So we're obviously down there in the in the pig IU and details. That seems like where a lot of the accessibility stuff is though. Like there there's there's probably big picture things you can say about like how to construct a page or how to have like 80% accessibility coverage, but then like it's from like the 80% to the 100% that is where a lot of the it depends is and the questions and the, honestly like the lack of confidence from even a seasoned developer like myself that 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 makes us kind of just punt and just not do anything at all, isn't it? Yeah, I think that again speaks to kind of that choice paralysis. Um, yeah, and like when I'm at work, it's something I kind of always kind of try to keep in the back of my pocket, um, which is like this is something that's historically been missing from the um, front end and honestly back end developer experience. Like it's usually taught if it's taught at all for like half an hour in most traditional CS education. Mm -hmm. So like it puts the person in a really bad spot, which is you're being held accountable to something you didn't even know existed. And then like somebody you've never really interacted with strolls up and tells you like you're wrong and everything you're doing is wrong. And also like, you know, you're, you're hurting people like that is not <laughs> a great feeling. Yeah. So, um, there's there's a uh, person in the disability community whom I really respect, uh, Meryl Evans, and she has this philosophy of progress over perfection. Mm. So when you tell me like, yeah, we're at 80%, like I'm like weeping tears of joy because, you know, every little bit helps and the more you can kind of move the needle, the better. And like the cool thing is, you know, websites aren't bridges. You, you can go back to what you build and like tweak it mm. and change it. And like, you don't have to get it all in one go. Yeah. I like that progress over perfection. That's definitely a phrase that I've uttered oftentimes to myself or to my teammates or to my wife or whoever, you know, especially us perfectionists. Like we have to remind ourselves that often because the perfection goal is, is the enemy of progress. Sometimes it's, it's the enemy of good. It's like, well, it has to be perfect. Well, I was like, well, it's already good. Let's ship good and then let's iterate towards perfect. But yeah, we're already, um, and it's interesting. We're starting to see like quality or quantitative, uh, qualitative as well. Um, if you read some of the community feedback, but a uh, quantitative results for that kind of mindset where we're investing in um, our design system primer, um, making some like structural changes, which has like a really good ripple effect mm. and like for the human facing impact, that's amazing because that means like more people can use GitHub. Um, and then like for, for the numbers go up kind of folks, it's great because like our audit risks go down, which means our legal liability goes down, but also like things are just getting kind of getting generally more stable on the front end perspective because we are encouraging folks to take those.